So in uh, this exhibition, which is called Digging, uh, I've further gone down the rabbit hole of history and continued to think about what we already have and how we can use it for the future. Ways of uh, thinking of um, futuristic strategies, uh, maybe. And I used uh, three existing objects in the world uh, as a kind of compass or strategies or inspiration or uh, a sounding board. And one is the Jerum cloak, which is uh, the oldest piece of cloth of clothing that is existing in Sweden in the History Museum in Stockholm. And uh, it was found in the 20s and it's about 2,000 years old. It's a big oval uh, piece of cloth with dog tooth pattern. And uh, the people that found it in the 20s thought that uh, it was hidden a treasure inside this, uh, all this cloth. So they were trying to unwrap it. But it was actually they tossed away the, the textile. But of course that was the treasure. Uh, and for me, that has led me into thinking about uh, today's uh, separation, maybe, of surface and content through digital uh, situations uh, and digitalization of objects. So in this case, I'm thinking about the surface as the treasure or the surface as uh, the, the goal. So I tried to make a sculpture that uh, is a textile and has a kind of weight, but it also is just the surface. And the other object is... Uh, uh, stone from uh, the excavation in Bolombos cave in South Africa which is a small ochre stone uh, with a zigzag pattern which uh, maybe is the first abstract painting or drawing or it could be like an instruction for how to make textile as a uh, how to turn thread into a surface so this uh, object has also inspired me to think about um, this passing of uh, uh, information or of knowledge. And the third object is a tower of a church in Stockholm called Riddarholmskyrkan, which is a very old building where all the kings are uh, of Sweden or uh, queens, I guess, are buried. And uh, it is from the 13th century. And they, for me, the interest, I mean, it has been rebuilt and built upon through the ages, but uh, in 1830 or 1834, it burnt down the tower. And for me, it's interesting that at that time, uh, uh, it was not that they rebuilt the old tower, but that uh, taking the latest technology, which was cast iron techniques, and to make it uh, into something new, and how we uh, mend things or how we add things to what is already existing, has been really interesting to me. And I think in general, in this exhibition, uh, I've used different strategies, uh, analog, but also thinking about what uh, 3D printing or scanning of objects, uh, like for example this uh, Iron Age bracelet, which has been scanned and of course the, the, the content uh, of the surface or the materiality is no longer uh, interlinked with the, the physical uh, three-dimensional form. And this to me uh, is something that is um, talking about how we understand materiality and of course ourselves in, in, in in today's society. So I think throughout the exhibition I've been using, you could say, analog uh, strategies in order to understanding what new materiality is today.